in ancient times in India. Children were sent to Gurukul to study. Students used to stay and study in the Gurukul and do duties like cleaning the Gurukul, watering the plants and cooking food etc. in the Gurukul. Just like that, there was a Gurukul near the forest away from the town where hundreds of children used to get education under the guidance of their master. Once, a boy was also sent to Gurukul to study. Soon, he got friendly with other students in Gurukul, but he was very weak in studies. He would do daily duties diligently, but anything that master taught him was poorly understood by him and for this reason, he was often ridiculed by other students. At year end, all his classmates were promoted to next class, but he could not make it. Master tried to teach him by every possible method, but the boy would not understand. Finally, the master gave up and said to the boy, Son, I have tried everything and made all efforts to help you to learn, but still, you can't understand anything. Perhaps education is not in your destiny. So it is better that you go to home and help your family with their household work. Boy also thought that perhaps studies is not something that he can do and with heavy heart he left for his own. Summer season was on its peak and it was afternoon time. The boy was walking toward his home which was about 20 miles from the Grukul. He was just walking and thinking about something. While walking, when he was passing nearby a village, he started feeling thirsty. So he went around looking for some water. Looking around, he found that some women were filling water from a well. He went near the well to drink some water. When he got near well, he saw some marks on a solid stone kept near well, which was used under the rope to draw water from well. He asked the woman, how did you make this mark on this stone? The woman replied, we did not make this mark. It is there because of this soft rope, which is repeatedly used over it while drying water from well. Repeated use of rope made such marks on this stone. Listening to this, the boy got into thinking. He pondered that when repeated movement of a soft rope can make deep marks on such a solid stone, then why can't he learn with constant practice? He was inspired by this incident. He went back to Gurukul with a lot of enthusiasm and started studying tirelessly. Master was also happy to see him working hard and cooperated fully with him. After a few years, this boy became renowned by name of Acharya Vardraj, who was a great scholar of Sanskrit grammar. He composed great Sanskrit grammar books like Madhya Siddhant Komadi, Laghu Siddhant Komadi, and Sar Siddhant Komadi. Even after hundreds of years, these grammar books have been remained unmatched. If we see in our lives, we will find that it is very important to work hard to be successful in life. Practice is very important, whether it is in sports or in studies or anything else. One cannot succeed without practice. Along with practice, determination is also very important. If you will be sitting on mere luck without practice, then at the end, you will be left with nothing but regret. If we look into this story, we will find that earlier that child was very weak in studies and he did not understand anything. But with his determination and tireless practice, he became a great scholar. This happened only because of his practice with perseverance. Through this story, I want to send a message to all the students who want to be successful in their lives. I want to tell them that you must bring these two qualities in your life strong determination and tireless practice. History is only the story of such few people who have adopted these two qualities in their lives. 
all the big scholars, scientists or other great people who made their name in the history were not better than you. They did not have anything that you don't have. But they all became great only by their perseverance and tireless practice. Therefore, if you also want to reach the height of greatness in your life, then start working hard from today with determination. Because by patience, hard work and perseverance practice, you can get anything in your life.